Huh? What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2002 movie Snow Dogs. So, in this movie, a dentist named Ted Brooks uh, is uh, living life to the fullest in Florida when he gets a, a summon from a woman in Alaska who left left him her will and he finds out that he was adopted and so he goes to Alaska to claim his things from that she left him and is trying to find out stuff about his about her and his father and he ends up meeting his father who he finds out is a uh, sled dog racer and uh, he's spending most of the movie trying to connect with him and stuff his, his father is not wanting to really connect with him and everything but uh, eventually they end up having to rely on each other to survive in a crazy situation in some crazy situations um, but this is a movie that I have always loved I, I, I can't believe that it's turning 20 this year it's crazy like there's so many movies that came out in 2002 that are turning 20 this year that it's just hard to believe that they're already turning that old because they were ones that I loved as a kid um, and th this is one that I saw in the theater I I didn't even want to see it we, we ended up going because we used to have this dollar movie here that would play movies for 50 cents on Tuesday nights and we went to see this movie that night me my mom my brother and one of our family friends and didn't know, I didn't know what to expect it didn't look like it'd be something I was going to be interested in I'm I, 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 it just didn't look like a entertaining movie to me but we ended up seeing it and I instantly fell in love with this movie and we saw it again in the theater and then I, I got it on VHS and we walked I, I watched it a, a million times as a kid it was one of my favorites that I had on repeat a lot and uh, I didn't know how it was gonna hold up and stuff I watched a couple years ago and still enjoyed it quite a bit and rewatching it this time I think I enjoy it even more now than I did as a kid it just it's a really great movie it has a lot of uh, good jokes and stuff in here like that are more aimed for adults that some of them I got as a kid because it was like at the, that age where I was starting to get a little bit more adult humor but at the same time there was a lot that I missed out on that I just I found this movie to be really hilarious at times but it also has a lot of heart and stuff to it too and some pretty good emotional moments and everything but it's one of those family movies that has stuff for kids and adults and I don't know a lot of people that like this movie though to be honest um, I know I'm one of the few that really love it um, but it just it's very very entertaining for me I've always like I said I loved it Cuba Gooding Jr. is just absolutely hilarious in this movie and the dogs are pretty adorable at times yeah, I'm not really a dog person but I, I like most of the dogs in this especially Nana she just is a, a likable dog and uh, James Coburn who plays Thunder Jack who is we find out is his dad is really good in here too he, he's really funny and the two of them work really well together and stuff but and you got Nichelle Nichols uh, playing Ted's mother or her, his adopted mother and she's really good too and she didn't have a lot of screen time but she's just one of those memorable characters and uh, there's a lot of other like little characters in here that are just memorable they got a lot of good character actors in here uh, Brian Doyle Murray, uh, M. Emmett Walsh, Graham Greene, just some of the local characters that are live in this little town in Alaska and everything. They're, they're just really, really likable characters. And, uh, and you got, uh, uh, Cisco, who is, uh, Ted's cousin, uh, 
Rupert, he, he's he's pretty funny too. Um, he doesn't have a lot of screen time, but he, he's he's funny in a little bit of screen time. I think if he would have had more though, he would have gotten really annoying really fast. But for the little bit of screen time he's on screen, I think he's pretty funny. And uh, and um, Joanna Bacalso plays Barb, who is like the the bartender at uh, an owner at at the local bar in in this little town, and uh, she's also Ted's love interest. She's very likable too, and uh, I always kind of had a crush on her ever since I was a kid. Just something about her. She just it's really good looking, and we also get a really funny cameo from Michael Bolton in this little dream sequence because uh, there's like this running joke in here that he uh, about Ted loving Michael Bolton and uh, he, he's like having this really weird dream where the dogs are talking and uh, his adopted mother is making him blue cheese cookies and uh, Barb is there on the beach in a fur bikini and uh, and you see this Michael Bolton CD just sitting there in front of him talking to him and he, he throws the this cookie at, at him for because he asks for a cookie it's, it's very weird but it, it's funny it, and it's like that's one of the most realistic dream sequences I've seen in a movie though because you have movies where or I mean you uh, everybody has those really weird dreams that you don't know what the heck is going on in them and everything to me it just it's kind of a, a good visualization of a uh, really weird dream um, but and this has a lot of good humor there is some dumb little jokes with the dogs like like Cuba Gooding Jr. shaking its, his butt at the dog and the dog biting it and him running around in circles and stuff when I was a kid I used to think it was absolutely hilarious now I just think it's it's just a little little silly and and everything it doesn't really bother me like it would most people but it is it is kind of kind of cringy a little bit um, but there are some really funny moments so especially like the the scene when he finds out that uh, Barbara tell, told him that his dad's name was James Johnson and he goes to the house and uh, Thunder Jack opens the door and he, he's like he's like but you're right and, and Thunder Jack takes his glove off and he says would you look at that and then uh, the other part that really cracks me up is when he's talking to his adopted mom right after in the next scene and she asks him how Alaska is and he's like uh, everything is white including my father and she says that, she says well that explains why you've always liked that Michael Bolton that, that scene always cracks me up I, I about die laughing every time I watch it. I don't know what it is that and why I find it so funny but it just is absolutely hilarious to me and uh, but th this movie just it has a lot of nostalgia too. I, I think this is one of th those that I love so much as a kid that I love it just as much now because of nostalgia too. It's kind of a comfort movie if that makes sense. But I, I, I do feel like it's really underrated. It doesn't really get the credit it deserves. I know even as a kid I, lo I knew some kids liked it and stuff in school but uh, we watched it a couple times in school. In fact, I think we even watched my video copy of it in in class one time. I took it up there for us to watch. But uh, I know kids liked it, but it, it wasn't like one of those that stuck around as being a popular one that people really remember. I know a lot of people don't, probably don't even remember this movie very well, but I really enjoyed it quite a bit. And I, I think it really holds up really well. and everything I can't believe like I said I, I can't believe it's turning 20 this year it just seems like time is flying has flown by since this movie came out um, but it, it still holds up really well and to me it, it, it's a really entertaining movie so I, I'd say I'd give Snow Dogs a 9 out of 10 I, I really enjoy it maybe it doesn't necessarily deserve that high of a rating but that's just for my personal taste on this movie yeah, I think it's really fun and entertaining movie and it's really just 
awesome to me. I love this movie. It's one that, one of those that I, it's kind of like with Kangaroo Jack. I enjoyed it a lot as a kid, and I think I like it even more now as an adult. It's just, there's not very many movies that are like that for me, but that, this is definitely one of those that, that I feel like that on, so... Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of Snow Dogs. I'm sure most of y'all probably didn't care for this one very much. Like I said, I know it's not one that very many people liked. Uh, but if you did like it, let me know. If you didn't, that's cool too. You can let me know that too. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And have a good day, everybody.